the space of those surrounding ads, the ads that appear in and around content. And in a moment, we'll talk a lot about um, how they actually do that, how that works uh, technically and also um, economically. But what I want you to do first is take a look at how Google positions those ads, what they say about themselves. So as you're watching this video, start thinking about what kind of arguments is Google making about how their ads uh, function and what the value of their ads are and how are they, in, in fact, in this um, educational video, doing exactly what we've talked about before. They're making the content into the advertising. Hi, I'm Nandu Janakaram, a product manager at Google. In this video series, we're talking about key aspects of Google business and how they affect you, our users. Today, I'd like to talk about ads. You know those text ads you sometimes see on your search results page? How do they get there, and what's their value to you? Well, people do web searches for three basic reasons. Entertainment, for instance, what's this morning's Hollywood gossip? Enlightenment, what did 19th century critics really think about Hamlet? And most frequently, information. Who can I call to deliver flowers to my mother right now in Mesa, Arizona? When you do a web search, you see ads on your results page only when we believe they further one of those three aims. If we can't find ads that will truly complement your regular search results, we won't show you any ads, period. But often, ads really do offer meaningful information. Suppose, for instance, I do my search on Flower Shop Mesa, Arizona. Here's my results page. Google search results are always ranked completely impartially by computer algorithm. Nobody can pay Google to improve their position on our results page. But advertisers can bid to have their ads placed up here and over here. Take Sarah, for example. Sarah owns a boutique flower shop in Mesa, Arizona. At any given moment, she wants her ads to reach the handful of people who are most interested in, well, flower shops in Mesa, Arizona. People like me. The moment I do my search is what we call a moment of relevance. When Sarah's ad appears on my search results page, it might very well be exactly the information I'm looking for. And if I click on it, I'll go straight to her website, and she'll pay Google for that click based on how much she bid to appear on that spot. The more that users like me vote for Sarah's ad with our clicks, the more likely Google is to give it a prominent placement in future moments of relevance. At every step of the way, our system is designed to reward advertisers for creating ads that people actually find useful. Like if I need to find a last minute gift for my mom's birthday. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it gave you a better understanding about how Google advertising works. So how did Google present themselves? How did they position their advertising service? Well, let me, let me, let me make a few points that I pulled out of, of watching that video myself. First of all, Clearly, they're saying that ads are valuable. Ads aren't this annoyance. Ads aren't this thing that you know, is trying to manipulate you. Ads are being valuable to you. And they, they present their argument for that. Um, ads further your aims. You have these aims for um, finding entertainment information, finding uh, news information, or you know, factual information. And then what they say, you also search for information. Well, of course, every search is for information. What they really kind of meant to say there is, you search because you want to buy things. And when you want to buy things, those ads really work well. And so, you know, they're a little bit, they're obscuring a little bit the fact that ads really are about you buying stuff. Um, at any rate, um, uh, people want to buy stuff. And so when they want to buy stuff, there's this what they call moment of relevance. The moment of relevance is I'm searching for flowers in Tucson, and that's a moment of relevance. What that means is, there's a person ready and waiting to make an economic transaction here, and that's a valuable point in time for anybody who's on the other end of that transaction, in the case they give here, the um, person selling flowers. So their positioning is that ads are valuable, ads augment, the, um, ads augment your search experience, and there's a moment of relevance. And that moment of relevance is probably better um, characterized as there's a time when the buyer is ready. And then if we serve an ad at that time, it's most likely to result in an economic transaction. Uh, let's see. Um, they no notice um, also here how they personalize it. It's not just ads are helping uh, companies meet consumers. Ads are helping me meet Sarah. And so the argument here is that it's really about little people. It's really about little businesses. 
Um, finally, they say that um, they reward advertisers whose ads result in, in uh, click-throughs. We've talked about click-throughs before, and so if a lot of people click through to Sarah's ad, uh, it's unclear from this what exactly happens. I suspect that Sarah's ad gets served more, that's true. I also suspect that Sarah's going to get charged more, right? Because they're, they're going to um, optimize their transaction with uh, this Sarah the flower shop owner. And theoretically, Sarah's going to benefit too because more people will click through to her site, more people will order flowers from her, and um, everybody's happy. People get to buy flowers, Google gets more money for, from Sarah, and Sarah gets more money from people buying the flowers.